Alright, um, Shalom, welcome to GMS Kells and Streets. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, one more worship. Double honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this word. Today, we're going to be going into, uh, what well, I'm going to be showing you um, by the request of, a, of another brother. Um, how to make a, what we call, a Mitri. All right, a Mitri, a Mitri is not a turban. All right, a Mitri is something that the Israelite priests wore. Um, you can read um, chapter nine, the third chapter. It talk, it talk about uh, uh, the, the high, uh, Joshua, the high priest. All right, that uh, the Most High was going to put a uh, uh, a white Mitri upon his head. That white Mitri represents righteousness, all right? Like in Revelation the 19th chapter, it explains that the, um, the saints that were dressed in white linen, it was it was they who washed themselves in the blood of Yahushai, or the word of Yahushai, all right? And I was talking about the elect, the elect of the nation of Israel, all right? Now, like I said, uh, a, a Mitri, I, I, I believe in the Hebrew. I'm using my phone to record right now, um, so I can't look, I can't show you it. But you can look it up for yourself. Where it says Mitri, which is uh, uh, M I T R E, um, in in the book of Zephaniah, third chapter, and um, where, where it speaks about Joshua the high priest okay. and the white Mitri. <laughs> You can look that word up. I believe it's a ma, ma, uh, I believe it's matzum, matzum pot. All right. Now the Israelites wore this because we didn't we didn't cover our heads completely. Whereas a turban that uh, uh, the Arabs use, all right, the Arab sheets use. Um, they use turbans. They use things that uh, cover their heads completely. All right, and. And that's that's uh, a tradition that the nations have, the other, uh, you know, the, the heathen have. You know, uh, for example, the, the um, uh, Arabic nations. But um, the Israelites wore what is called a mitri, and you wrap it around your head, and you will leave the top of it exposed. Okay, and the reason for that is. Um, uh, uh, First Corinthians, the eleventh chapter. All right, it, it explains to you how that when you're when you're praying, that when you're praying to the Lord, you are not to dishonor your head, and our head is Yahweh Shai, by praying unto Him with your head covered. That's why if you're teaching, if you're prophesying, if you're if, let's say you're out in camp, you're in an area where it's it's cold, okay, and you're on the side, you're holding posts or something, right? It's all right for you to have a, a uh, you know, a small cap on or something on to put a hood, you know, to keep yourself warm or whatever. But once you start to read and once you start to speak, all right, that is the equivalent of uh, prophesying or that is prophesying. And, you're supposed, and for praying, you're not supposed to have your head covered because you are, you are, our head is where the Lord sends his holy signal to. That's why um, babies, when they're young, they they have something called what? They have something called a a soft spot, all right. And you're not you're supposed to be careful with that soft spot. To make sure you don't you don't damage the baby there or hit the baby there because you can kill the baby, all right. Now the the, the spirit dwells within your brain, okay. That's what controls your whole body. You can you can get injured, all right, and you can chop your arm off, chop a leg off, you won't die, decapitate yourself, and what happens, right? You lose you lose your life instantly. Now you chop your arm off, your leg off, or something like that. Yeah, you can die by by bleeding bleeding out, but there's a there's a way to save you, right, from that to stop the bleeding to save your life. But if, if you get decapitated, that's it. You're, you're gone. All right, uh, uh, Esau cannot pick up that head, put it back on your shoulders, all right, and wait for the nerves to to, to bend. All right, you're through. So anyway, 
So this is a meat tree, all right? Uh, I made this myself. Uh, back in the old school days, going back to the uh, uh, one west, the one west days, which uh, I came in uh, towards the latter end of that. I came in around uh, 1993, okay? And the elders uh, taught me how to how to uh, wrap a meat tree because they had back then in one west they had a department that saw a sewing department. So they made they made meat trees for brothers, they made garments for brothers. So all you had to do was buy one. And then the brothers, the elders would teach you how to wrap it, which I will teach you after I finish discussing this, okay? Um now so now this I made this myself. You know, after a while, what I did was I took I took the uh, example of the old meat tree that I had, which back then it was black. It was made out of uh, uh, linen, linen, I believe, or 50/50. You know, uh, you know, that makes fabric. I don't know. Which that itself is going off. I believe it's 100 percent the cotton or linen. You know. All right. So. Um, so, so now, this meat tree right here, what I did was, I took about, uh, if you see this meat, this, this is the, this is the, end, uh, technically, the beginning of my meat tree, okay? If you look at it, it's about, it's about two and a half to three inches wide, okay? And what I did was, I, I went to the uh, fabric store, and I bought this material right here, which I also had made a, a garment with the same material, but that got ripped up, and I don't. And I, I, I grew out of the garment. Okay, so uh, that's what happened with Od. It starts to eat a lot. So anyway, um, but I still got this beach. Now it's about two, 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 three inches wide, but if you notice, it's it's sewn on, on the on the edges. Okay. I sold, I sold it, so technically, without it being sold, it's sold here on the edge, and it's sold over here on this edge all the way, I think I had about uh, three yards, alright, and so, of course, so if this is about two and a half, so it's about when you, when you open it up, initially, it's about five inches wide. All right, and I cut the material that way. Now you can probably get a fabric store to make them cut the material for you, or you can cut it yourself. Now, what I did after that was, remember, it was about three, three yards, about three yards, okay, three, three yards, three yards and a half. And you can, and you can make it out of whatever material you want. To, okay. Now, after you cut it, about five. Five and a half inches wide. What you what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it once, and then you're gonna iron it. You're gonna iron it flat. All right. And the reason for that is there's two reasons. Okay. When you go to sew it, it's gonna be much easier for you to sew. All right. And um, you're gonna sew it all 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 the way, the whole way. Of the whole three three yards, three and a half yards length. All right, but before you sew, you have to you have to um, you know iron iron it nice and flat, and then um and then you you uh, commence to sewing it on the edges. Okay, now once you once you sew it all the way, what you're gonna do is you're gonna um like it's like a sock. You're gonna in, invert it. All right, where where the stitch is on the inside, unless you got the skill or you have a sister or mother who has the skill, has the skill to sew it to where you have something called an invisible stitch, then then you go ahead and do that. But how I did this was I totally in, inverted it or, or turned it inside out, so to speak, to, so where the, the stitching is actually on the inside. So now you don't see it on the outside. It's nice and neat, all right? So once you do that, you're gonna go ahead, at that point, yeah, at that point, you're gonna have, um, it went from five and a half 
if you're five inches wide, then you, you, fold, you fold it in half, right? Iron it, you stitched it. So and then, after you do that, now you're able to fold it one more time. All right, for last time, where you're gonna end up with about two and a half inches wide, right? All together. Now it don't have to be that. It could be it could be you know however you want it, wider. But I found that the the, the narrower it is, the better for for you to uh, uh, wrap your head with. Okay, so. Um, you know, it's not rocket science, man. You know, it's um, you know, maybe one day at another edition, I could, I could, I could, uh, I could do a meet, make a meet tree at home and, and show you the process and record it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, show you how you wrap it. Like I said, this is not a turban. This is a meat tree. All right. So this is how we did it. So. So I'm a righty, right? So you hold your row, the meet you row on your right hand. The other end, you take, you hold it with your left hand, okay? And so what you do is you wrap it around your head like this, and you put the you put the end right here, like towards your forehead, like this. Notice the angle. You're, you're on a 45 degree angle, so to speak. All right? And then you come around like this. And you're gonna be overlapping each time you go around. So on my on my right on my left side it'll be coming down, whereas on my right side it'll be going up, covering your ears. Be sure that you don't tighten it too tight, because if you do, you're gonna have to redo it because it's gonna give you headaches. Alright? And you're overlapping leaving about a half inch space when you're doing it, alright? Now I'm not in front of a mirror in front of a mirror and help you out. So remember this side is going down. Alright? This side is going up. This side is going up. Alright, so you're going up. Alright, this side is going down. You're kinda of leaving a, a little point, a little like a little it's gonna form like a little like a little uh, curve here at your forehead, all right? This side's going down. This side's going up, all right? And after I finish with this, I'm gonna I'm leave it on because it's cold as hell out here. <laughs> so this is going up, all right? This side's going down, see? Now you see the, the, the row of the meat tree it's getting less and less. So you just like going up. Just like going down now. By now, it's almost reaching my left ear and almost covering. My right ear is already covered because that's where, when I came around, that's where I started. Right? start. Right? And then. You come around. Alright, so now look, my ear is fully covered, man. Okay, and it keeps you warm in the winter. But yet, the top of my head is still covered. Where I am I'm able to pray to the Lord all I want, prophesy all I want, without worrying about uh, me um, dishonoring the Lord. Okay? And the way I do it, you pull it to the back. And that keeps the whole road tight. And I got some fringes and a border of blue at the end. Alright? Which is according to the law. And um, that was my style. You don't gotta do that. Alright? So. Or you can put it all the way through. All right. And then what you do is you can kind of with your fingers go all around the top. Dimitri, fix it so that it's comfortable. The main thing is that it's comfortable, man. 
right? Because if it's too tight, it's gonna give you a headache, like I said. Alright, so anyway, so um, um with that, I hope you brothers got it was it was a quick show. Like I said, maybe one day spirit hit me, I'll make a meet you and record it. Um and, and record all the steps. Alright, so with that, you know, um if you're not subscribed, subscribe, hit the bell, alright? Uh, so it alerts you, let you know when um, every, every time I put up a video, all right. And uh, this is pretty much a do-it-yourself Mitri video, all right, for uh, for, for uh, GMS brothers out there. And uh, with that, I say shalom. Oh, all right.